Jennifer, thanks for purchasing the Rhythm Rocker. I'm so excited to show you how the Rhythm Rocker targets your abs and teaches you fun dance moves without any complicated steps. Let's begin with our warm up. Nice and easy, give me a march right and left right here. Kind of swing the hips side to side, pick at the arms, but let them relaxed and loose. Just getting the body nice and warm for four. Push that hip out a little further, that's it. Now let's add some arm circles. They're gonna go back. You have back, one more. Now bring them front. Big arm circles moving from the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back again. And front for two. Moving on to squats with the tricep extension. Separate the feet, squat down, push up. Good. Keep that weight in the heels. Send the booty back like you have that chair behind you. Squeeze. Good, nice and deep here. Now we're gonna pick it up double time. Make them a little smaller for me. Here you go, down and up. That's it, keep extending those triceps down to the floor. Think long, lean muscles for four. Whew. Exhale, Shh. two. Now rock those hips side to side, right and left. Good, hands out, kind of double bump the hips, squeeze the obliques. Get them nice and warm, hands over the head and wave. Hey. That's it, how you ladies doing? Two more, moving on to our crunch. Belly to spine, crunch and up. Hands can just relax on the hips. Pull, feel the rounding in the spine. Let's add arms, open the chest and crunch it forward. Very nice, exhale. Shh. Moving to hip rolls to the right, slow. Good, send that booty back. One more, keep the belly engaged to the spine to support the back, two to the left. Nice, you make it a little sexy, what's up? And take it back to a march, inhale. Exhale, Shh. two more just like that. Deep breaths, getting ready to exercise. One more. Great job, moving on to our workouts. Now that you're all warmed up, we're ready to get you rocking, crunching, and rolling. Let's start by sitting down, send that booty back, spine nice up and straight, inhale up, squeeze the shoulder blades, take the handlebars, let's start crunching slowly on the right, you take it over, good, and over, stay lifted out of the butt, good, so belly to spine, keep that core nice, strong, and tight to start with, and really reach it over, so at the end of this movement, you should feel a nice stretch, so pull it over more, like this stirring is shifting your rib cage all the way over. Really feeling it in the obliques and a nice stretch in the opposing side. Two more like this, and we're gonna take it up to tempo right here. Take it rock. Nice. Squeeze. Boom, so you gotta go a little first, faster, pardon me. So first you wanna establish strength, and then you can pick up your speed. That's it. Keep going with this, really pull it over. Feel like that waist is coming right up out of the hip. Lift it up. Couple more here, four, three. Now take a chest open, roll it down and up to go to the other side and squeeze to the left. Squeeze slow. Again, establishing control and strength before you move with tempo. Really kind of creating muscle memory of where your ribs go, how you're squeezing the obliques, getting the movement down. Two more. Exhale. Last time. Let's take this to tempo. Right here, you ladies ready? Rock it out. Woo! Shh. If it helps, exhale every time. Shh. Shh. Good. Really squeeze those obliques. Feel a nice stretch. Keep rocking it. You're gonna get a nice, tight midsection. Really defined and toned obliques. So make sure that this movement, you're not pulling with your hand, that it originates from your core. You're moving your hips from your center. Two, and let's take it back to those spine rolls. Open up the chest and roll it up, belly to spine. Roll through each vertebrae. If you want, you can add the arms when you roll back up to open that chest and back. Good, let's move on to our crunch it. You're gonna crunch back and up. Nice, now again, make sure this movement is initiating from here and you're not pulling on your chair. Good, it's all about 
tuning in to what works here. Soften the ribs back. Excellent, really crunch it in. So if we were doing sit-ups, this is the same motion, but you don't have that opportunity to pull on the neck. So keep the chest nice and open. Roll through the spine as you pull it back. Nice, let's take this to tempo. And this is that hip hop move that you start seeing in our dances later on. Exhale, so it's like you're letting all the air out of your lungs. Beautiful, two more. Keep going with this for me. Again, keep pulling that navel into the spine, into the pelvic floor. Slight tuck of the hips under, but don't squeeze the glutes. Remember, it's all about the core here. Shh. Again, shh. Let's take this back to half time. So you go crunch, two, three, four, and up. Again, the slower that you go, the more control you need to use, the more muscle you're gonna incorporate. So don't rush these. It's very important to do these half time. Slower, good, shh, really let that air out. Shh, faster is not always better. Really want to establish control here. What muscles you're working, work on that six pack, deep, deep, deep. Let's take these to tempo again. You can add a little more shoulder here now if you want. You ladies feeling this? Yeah, shh, let me hear those exhales. For four, beautiful, three, two, Keep going with this. So you can do a lot of repetitions on this rhythm rocker without stressing your neck, straining your back muscles. Really focus on where you're working. It's here, right? And not in the hands and the arms. Good. Now let's take it back to those spine rolls, really giving you a chance to release the chest and roll through the spine. Again, adding those arms if you'd like. Open that chest, stretch it out, and pull it up. One more, moving on to our next move. We're gonna roll it. So you take it over, two, three, and back. Nice, pull it over and come back to neutral. Roll in and out, squeeze. So it's kind of a combination of the two moves, the rocking and the crunching that you just learned. Excellent, let's do it again, rolling it out. Over, right now we're just really isolating each move. Shh. Exhale every time, back to neutral. Good, you don't want to let those ribs pop out. Sink them back in. Excellent. Shh. Are we ready to pick this up to speed? Take it over. Nice. Again, really isolating each piece. Reach with the ribs back. Keep going. Over. Shh. Try not to rely on those handlebars too much. Really make this a movement that's initiated from the core. Keep going. That's it. Rock that seat over. Crunch it back. One more. Feel that pinch right between the hip and the waist. Now give me a spine roll so we can shift it to the other side. And take it over. Squeeze. Nice and slow. Remember what I said, faster, not always better. Really engaging a lot more muscle fiber here by controlling and reaching. Pulling back. At the end, you really have a chance to really feel the stretch and hold. Squeeze, so give me an extra squeeze at the end of each movement when, when we're doing them this slow. One more, shh. Exhale, shh. All right, you're ready, we're ready. Let's take it up to tempo, take it over. Shh, roll it around. Good, pull the ribs over, push it back. This feels so good to me. I love this seat really makes you work the core. Keep going with this. Again, establishing muscle memory, where your ribs should go, what you're working. Excellent, shh, looking good. Let's do it again, one more. And take it back to that spine roll, release it down. And roll it up. Three more, really open the chest, exhale. Roll through the spine, give it a nice stretch. One more. Good, bring it up. Inhale, exhale, one more, deep inhale. Great job, way to rock it, crunch it, and roll it. 
now that you know those basic rocking, crunching, and rolling movements, we're gonna add a little something with arms and legs. So let's take that seated position, belly engaged, take me a deep inhale, exhale, hands on the rhythm rocker. Let's pull in that right side, hip up. Good. Just rock it nice and easy, side to side. Beautiful, get, really get that hip up, squeeze those obliques. Now we're gonna take that right hand off and just balance on the right. Here you go, take it up, just hold it out to the right. So well, now you can't rely on this handle. You really have to engage the core. You feel that? Squeeze it right here. Same basic move, just adding a little arm. Let's bring it up overhead right here and pull it in. Nice, elbow to hip. Really add that squeeze. Also working the lats right through here. You feel that, ladies? Concentrate right here. Bring that elbow in. Two more. We're gonna go with an arm circle. Right here. Good, take it around and over. In, so still hitting that hip and then bringing the shoulder forward. Really getting more of a stretch as the arm goes in front. Beautiful. Shh. Two more. Back to that basic rock right here. Hand on the rhythm rocker. Nice. Getting back to our basic movement. Getting in touch with this squeeze again. Thinking about it a little bit more. What are you working? Give me a nice spine roll down. And we're gonna do the same series on the left. Here you go. Squeeze the left in, rock. Rock. Good, again. Remember these hands are gonna come up. So right away, don't rely on the handlebars to pull you over. Really use that core. You should be feeling the squeeze. Couple more, four, three. Here we go, left arm comes off. Forces you more to engage here, so don't let that belly pop out. Keep it going to the spine. Keep the core tight as you move side to side. Couple more. Let's bring that left hand up right here to initiate our lat pull down. That's it, really crunch it in more. So you wanna bring this hip up by crunching in here, not relying again on pulling over. Two more, beautiful. Let's take it to that arm circle. Take it down and around, over, squeeze. Shh. Keep breathing, let me hear you. Shh. Good, pull it in, stretch it over. Two more. Take it back to our basic rock right here, hand on the rhythm rocker. Very nice, everybody. Again, what are you working? Right here, feel it squeeze. Shh. Exhaling always helps you. Always exhaling on the exertion, roll it down and bring it up. Let's crunch it now, you know it. Back and up, back up, good, shh, shh, keep going. Remember, this again comes from the pull in here, stretching the back. Now we're gonna lift that right leg as we crunch back, goes up, good. So by doing this, you really have to engage more deep into the lower abdominal areas to get the knee to the shoulder almost. Excellent, shh, two more. We're gonna switch it to the left. That's it, give me those exhales. Really force that air out, shh. Good, let's really crunch it. That's it, shh. Ladies feeling this? Yep, so again, don't lift the leg with the thigh, use the crunch to lift it. We're gonna add a right knee and left shoulder so it pulls over. So you're crunching, you're also getting a little bit of that oblique twist. Sculpting those sexy shoulders, really get it over there. That's it, shoulder to knee, that's the attempt. Two more. Let's switch sides. Shh. Nice. I get a nice stretch right here. Do you feel that right there? Right through here as you bring that shoulder forward. Crunch it. Shh. Two more. Shh. Good. Let's take it back to the right for four, three, two, and let's switch it left. Again, bring this knee up from the belly. Don't rely on the quad. Remember what you're working. Back to the right for two, please. Take it shoulder to knee. And left. That's it, adding a little more rhythm. A little quicker switches, right again. And left. Here you go. You ready for singles, ladies? 
Right and left. Here you go. And left. Exhale. Come on. Pull the ribs in together. Lift the knee from the core. Give me a spine roll here. Roll it down and roll it up. Basic crunches. Up. Good. Exhale. Come on. Really crunch it. You know this move. Crunch it hard. Excellent. Bring that right knee up again. Good. Bring it up. And up. How you ladies doing? Can you give me four more? You breathing back there? You breathing at home? All right. Take it on the left leg. Here you go. Bring it up. Again, make sure you're not engaging that quad too much. That by shortening these muscles, this leg can come up. That's what you need to get that rocking six pack. Let's add that shoulder over, over. You know it. Now really squeeze. Let me see a sexy shoulder. That's it. Now think of pulling the ribs in even more. Really crunching in further. And take it other side. Shoulder to knee. How about four more? Four. That's it. You should feel a nice stretch in the back. Remember, the more you pull in, the more the back's going to stretch. Switch it up to the right. Shh. Give me two more here. Shh. Let me see that shoulder. Give me something, something. Come on, ladies. You can have even a little sexy look. Nice. Two. Cut it down to twos, right and left. Here you go. Two. Hup. One. Excellent. A little bit of sass with that shoulder. Feeling a little bit sexier every time. Push it a little further, a little harder. Good. Take it to singles. Shh. Let me hear you breathe. Shh. Force that air out. Squeeze. Right to the lungs. That's it. Now let me see that spine roll down. Relax. Going into our rollets. Here you go. Pull it over. Back. Shh. Shh. And up. Good. Shh. Roll it around. Pull that hip up. Nice. Now watch here. We're going to pick it up to tempo. I want you to take out the isolation movements and really feel the roll. Roll. Good. And roll. That's why we call it rolling. Rolling that rib cage, rolling those hips around. The seat's moving with you, but the seat's not moving you. You're moving the seat. All right. We're going to take it back slower, and we're going to add an arm. It goes over front, side, and relax. Good. Really stretch it out. You have time here to over-exaggerate and feel that stretch. One more. Now we're taking this to tempo. Smooth it out. You have roll. This is where it can get really sexy. That's it. Shoulder. Smile when you're doing this. It's fun. Pull it. Good. Again, don't rely on the arm to pull you over, though. Shh. Let's take it back slow. Again, really get these movements down, and that roll is going to come so much easier. So when you start dancing, it's just natural. Shh. One more here. Shh. Now let me see you roll it. Roll. Beautiful. Again, the arm is just a graceful, extension of the body. So really work the core and let the arm float around. Nice. Shh. One more. Give me those spine rolls. Release. Feels so good. And up. Good. And release. Open that chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Pull up through the belly to roll the spine. One more. Are we ready to take the roll to the other side? Here you go. Squeeze back. Nice. The foundation for our roll right here. Isolate each movement. Shh. One more time before we go to tempo and smooth it out. Here we go. Take it over. Roll. That's it. Keep the belly engaged, so don't let it pop out. Yeah? You're going to feel it a lot in here, but keep that low belly engaged. So don't lose that connection. Shh. 
Here we go. Let's add the opposite arm. It reaches over. Yep, get a nice additional stretch right there by reaching over. Squeeze. Two more. Shh. Always try to find yourself exhaling. Let's make it sexy. Take it to tempo. Around. That's it. Around. Really contract that rib cage. Total midsection workout right here. Plus the shoulders and the back. Need that strong back to protect us. Let's slow it down. Good. And back. Reach it. Shh. Nice. Use that arm for the additional pull over and the stretch. One more. You ladies ready? Show them how it's done. Roll it. That's it. Feels so good. Looks even better. Couple more. Breathe. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat now. Give me those spine rolls. Release. And pull up. Just because we're kind of relaxed here doesn't mean you relax the belly. You actually have to pull it in even more to roll that spine up. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more for me. Good. Deep breath, deep, deep. All the way down into the core. Stretch it. Great job adding those arms and legs. Okay, are you ready to add the rhythm into your rhythm rocker? I know we are, so let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, sit down in that chair, hang on to the handlebars, and let's rock it side to side. You have right. Good, really get that hip up. Crunch the obliques. Four, three, we're gonna add a little bicep curl right here. Right arm goes in and cross. Good, this side to side bicep curl is really gonna emphasize that oblique crunch right there. Pretend like you've got a can in your elbow and really swing it and squeeze it. Now we're gonna do triple time. It goes one, two, hold. Good, really quick. Crunch it in the bicep, crunch it in the oblique. Beautiful. We're gonna mix it up a little. You're gonna take singles right here. One, two, three, four, five, Six, two more. Now take it to that triple time. Oh, one, two, three. Triple hold. That's it. Let's do that again. Back to singles. Squeeze. You feeling this, ladies? All right. Three, two more. Triple time. Swing it out. Crunch that bicep. Two more. Bring that hand down back to your rock. Whew, how'd you do on that? You're looking good. Feeling that rhythm of a dancer. Couple more here. We're gonna bring the right arm up to start our lap pull downs. Bring it up, in, up, shh. Exhale, really get that elbow to the hip. Pull it in. Keep your sides long though. Don't drop down. Breathe, exhale, come on, crunch. Let me hear it. Uh. Two more. Take that hand down. Let's bring it back to the basic rock. We're gonna do a little combo here. I want to see single biceps and triple. Single, two, three, four. Now give me that triple. You've got a boom, boom, ha. Nice. We're going to go right into our lap pull downs from here. Take it in. In and up. Good. Reach long, stretch through there. A couple more for four. Three. All right, back to that single triple combo with the bicep curl. You have in. Cross. Nice. Shh. Take it to the triple time. A one, two, three. A three, two. Nice. Go to those lap pull downs. Crunch it in for me. And reach up. Beautiful. You guys are getting it. Getting that rhythm down. For four. Three. Two. Let's take it right to bicep triples here. Two more times. Now give me those pull downs and in. So triples right to pull downs. 
All right, let's do it again. Right to the biceps. You go in. Exhale. Let me see those big guns. That's it. Pull it down. In and up. Shh. Two. And roll out that spine. You have down. Good. And up. Really relax. Open the chest. Two more. Shh. One more. Let's start that rock on the left. You have rock. That's it. Get this hip up. Squeeze. Breathe. Getting that heart rate up now when we add those arms. So let's do that left bicep curl. You bring it in, across. Squeeze. Come on, pump that bicep, ladies. Let me see it. Sexy shoulders, sexy arms, as important as a sexy torso. Are you ready? Let's take it to triple time. You have a one, two. Adding that upper body really brings that heart rate up there. So let's not miss this. Couple more. That's it. Let's take it to singles for four, three, two, again for four. Now here comes that triple time. You got a one, two, swing it out. Nice. Let's take it back to singles. Right here, you have four, three, two, four more. Really starting to rock it now. Give me that triple. A ba, ba, ba. You get that dancey feel. That's it. Good. Give me a hip rock right here, basic. Excellent. Getting ready for that lap pull down. Four more here. And let's extend that left arm up. Get ready for the lap pull downs. You have it in. Make it strong. Elbow to hip. Exhale. Remember, keep the side long. Don't jump in the hip. Beautiful. Couple more here. Really emphasize. Pull. Give me that curve right here. See that? Let's take it back to the basic rock. Hand down. All right, here comes a little combo. Bicep singles and triples. You have rock. Two, three, four, a five, six. Let's take it to the triple. A shh, shh, shh. Nice. Use that breath. Right into the lap pull downs here. You have in, up, squeeze, up, shh. How about four more, ladies? Take it. Yeah. Two. All right, let's repeat that combo. Bicep singles. Shh. Breathe if you need to. And you need to. You always need to breathe. Triple. Good. Swing it out. Rock it out. Right into our lap pull downs. Here you go. Squeeze. Reach. Elongate your torso. Long, lean lines. Shh. And have a beautiful S curve. All right. Right to our bicep triples. Right here. You have a rock. Two. Yeah. Add a little shoulder. A little more sass. Right to the pull downs. Goes in and up. Shh. Back to bicep triples. Right here. You go up. Uh, uh. Add that shoulder. Really rock it out. And pull it in. In. Extend. Feel that stretch. Beautiful job. Take it to our spine rolls and release. And roll up. Pull the navel to the spine. To really roll through each vertebrae. One more. Taking it to our new move, our crunch it slow. One, two. Shh. Good. Exhale. Every time. Shh. Remember, belly goes back to spine, not rocking too much in the hips. Two more. Beautiful. Let's take this to tempo. Pick it up. Have shh. Shh. Really here. Good. So you got to make these movements a little bit smaller, but just as strong. Let me see you work it for four. Exhale, three. We're gonna add an arm. It's gonna go up and pull in. And in, in. Good, get that arm, elbow, in. Drive it right into that kind of pelvic bone right there. That's it, that's gonna crunch you down and in. Get the lower abs engaged. All right, you ready to add this knee in a little twist. So you go twist, twist. Still engaging the abs. Make sure you're not pulling too much with the leg. That knee comes up from the core. All right. 
And a little more something, something, you're gonna do a knee and the kick. So you have knee and kick. Shh. Woo, I really feel this now. How about you, ladies? Woo. Good, crunch it, come on. Good, getting a little hamstring stretch. You don't have to be a rock cat, it's okay. A little kick is fine, let's take it back and crunch. Get back to this basic core movement. Re-engage here if you kind of lost that. Think about what you're working before we add the right arm in four, three, two, and pull it down. Pull. Good. Right in. Get into the lower belly. Help this arm down. Even feel it down your side. Right here as that arm pulls in. Crunch it in. We're going to take this knee and this elbow. Here you go. Twist it a little now. Twist. Twist. Really extend that arm up. The more upper body you use, the bigger cardio workout you're going to get. Twist it. Twist it. Let's add that kick after the knee. So you have knee and kick. Reach for the toe, but remember, if you can't get there, just do a little kick. That's fine. Work to your own ability. You'll build up to it. Excellent. Shh. One more. Take it back to our basic crunch. You have crunch. All right. Breathe. Again, reconnect. What are you working? Right here. You want to see that six pack when we're done here. Four. Beautiful. Three. All right. You ready to change up the rhythm? We're going to do this triple time crunch right here. It goes a one, two, pop, 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 pop. You got to make it small. Really use right in here. Come on. Crunch it in, 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 in. Try not to grab on the handlebars. We're going to add a spine roll. Quick right here. You go one, two, crunch it for five, six, seven, eight. Roll and crunch. Yeah, and then you get that feeling of rolling and crunching. That's it. One more. Good. Take it back to a crunch. Slow and slow. Again, reconnect. We were kind of going triple time there, so I want you to really think about what you're supposed to be working. Exaggerate this so when we go quicker, you know exactly what muscles you're using. Let's take it to tempo here. Good. In. Come on. Squeeze it in, ladies. Oh, yeah. You're looking good. Stay with us. Exhale. We're going to add that arm. Take it in right here. And in. 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 Drive it in. Come on. Get those hips up just a little bit. Engage more lower belly. Again, the more you use these arms, the bigger the cardio benefit, the more calories you're going to burn. Give me a knee and a twist. And twist. Twist. Crunch it in. Uh. Less talking, more breathing. Getting that heart rate up there. A couple more. Are you ready to take the knee and the kick, ladies? Let me see those beautiful legs go out. Again, you can kick it low. Just keep crunching in. And remember, the kick initiates from the core, so the more you crunch, the easier it's going to be to get it up there. One more. Let's take it back to our basic crunch tempo. Excellent. Pump it. Come on. Think of pump those hips forward, pulling the pelvis underneath you. Four more for four. You can do it. We're almost there. Two. Let's take the other arm up and in. Here you go. And in. In. Use this elbow to tell you to crunch it under. That's it. So much easier than sit up. So much more fun. A couple more for four. Three. Add that knee and a twist. We're not working our necks here. We're working our core, and that's where we want that six-pack. A couple more. Come on. Stay with it. Keep breathing. Don't forget. Got to breathe. Let's add that kick. A knee and a kick. Come on. Knee and strength. Good. A little stretch for the hamstrings. Never hurt anybody. Long, sexy legs. Sleek, slim torso. You're doing great. Take it back 
to that crunch tempo right here. Come on, crunch. Really work it. Uh, you're almost done. So focus on it. Think six pack. Yes, think slim. Think bikinis. Don't give up on us now, because we're going to the triple time. Let's see you hip hop it. Boom, boom, boom. It's that hip hop move. Yeah. Hop, hop, squeeze. So it's faster, but it's with control and with strength. Excellent. Are we ready to add the spine rolls, ladies? Let's do it. Roll down and up. And then I'll let it go smooth right here. Just go for it. All the way. Come on, bigger. Down and up. Come on. One, two, three. Down and up. One, two, three. Give it to me. Squeeze. Back. That's it. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Let's go into our hip roll. Come on, pinch it up. Good, but don't dump down in that hip. A couple more times like this. Good. Re-familiarize yourself with this hip roll. Get friendly with it because we're going to be doing it a lot for four. Two. One. One more. Good. Let's smooth this out. Roll it out, ladies. Roll. It's that sexy move. Good. We're going to use it all the time to get that nice toned core and tummy. Good. You can add a little bit more shoulder now. Get into those arms, upper body. You have to make the movements just a little bit smaller to get around. It doesn't mean you take any less strength from here. Good. Now let's add the arm. It goes over slow. Good. Now bring it up over the head. That's it, really reach and stretch. Beautiful. Let's roll it out to tempo, one smooth line. Around, good, around. Shh. Let me see it, lasso it around. Think of a big lasso over your head. Nice and sexy. All right, we're gonna take it back slow for two. You have reach, front, beautiful. Good, let the arms just follow. Remember, it's a pretty extension. Now fast. Good. Two. Three. Let's try that again. Too slow, so you can really exaggerate here. Lift. Good. Make sure you're lifting up out of the hips every time you come up. And roll. Last one around. Excellent. Let's take it back to that basic rock. Very nice. Squeeze. Come on. Know this by now. You're gonna take that arm out and we're gonna bring it across. You have to squeeze it over. Reach, really stretch. Feel that stretch in the side body. Now bend the elbow a little bit and bring it down into it. So we're gonna move to this figure eight. It's gonna go down and around, make it a figure eight. Around and out. Around. Really use that shoulder in to guide that crunch deeper. For four. Beautiful. Three. Two. Take it back to that slow around the head. You have reach. Remember this? That's it. Now we're going to do those four smooth and quick. Roll. And roll. And roll. Now bring that arm across the chest and reach. Beautiful. Squeeze. Come on. Now give me that figure eight. Nice, sexy curves. Bring it over. Take it back to the top. Slow over the head. You have reach. Very nice. Stretch it. Come on. Pick it up. Slow. Lasso it around, ladies. Let me see it work. Bring the arm across. Bring it over. That's it. Good. You can even add a little head look for it. A little fast. Figure eight right here. Squeeze it around. Beautiful. Good. Take it to a spine roll. Down and up. Triple time crunch. Remember this? Kind of putting together a little combo. Five, six, squeeze. Get my hair out of there. Whew. Good. Let's take it over. Back. So we're going to repeat the whole pattern to the other side. Good, so you can initiate here first now. Excellent, left hip up. 
Good. Keep going with this. Squeeze. Extend. Good. Stretch that back by really pulling the belly in. Two more times. Looking great. Here we go to tempo. Roll it out. Take it. Roll. This should feel really good on the back. Remember, we've got that 360 degree rotation. All the way around. Don't lose control of it. Keep going. Come on. Try not to pull on those handlebars. Relax the hands. I like to have my palm just kind of in the front of them so I'm not gripping. Three, two, let's take it back to half time. Add the arm. Over. Good. And up. Beautiful. Really reach. Come on. Stretch. Excellent. Let's smooth it out. Pick it up. Lasso that arm around. Around. Let the rib cage roll. Breathe. Come on. Sexy shoulders. Sexy arms. Let's combo it. Slow. One, two, three. Again, pretty extension of the arm. Take it to tempo. Think of that lasso over the head. Ride them, cowboy. That's it. Two more. Let's slow it down here and really feel the stretch each time. Again. Here we go. Smooth it out. Bring it to tempo. Four. Beautiful. Three. Let me see the accent back. Two. One. Good. Let's rock it side to side. And take that arm out. Good. For four. Three. Two. Balance. Ready to bring the arm across and stretch. Reach. Very nice. Come on. Feel that stretch on this side. Whole body goes over. You guys are doing great. Two. Soft the elbow. Bring it into that figure eight. Around. It's like hip to hip. Hip to hip. Good. Fist, then elbow. Hip to hip. Looking great. Let's take it back around the head. Slow. You have reach. Again. Stretch. That's your time to really feel that stretch. Now it's time to really roll it out and make it sexy. Two more. Now bring that arm across the chest. You have squeeze. You got it. Soften the arm. Get ready. Elbow to hip. Fist to hip. Elbow. Fist. Elbow. Beautiful. Back to the top. Here we go. Slow. You have over. Crunch. Excellent. Really reach. Come on, ladies. Smooth it out. Roll it. Roll them. That's it. Bring that arm across. There you go. Reach. Accent. Hit it strong. Stay up out of this hip as you crunch. Good. Figure eight. Across. It's your last time. Come on. Really crunch it out. All right, bring it back to that spine. We'll release it down and up and crunch. Slow. Again. Two more. Just like this. You're almost done. Come on, let me see you. Pop. Woo! Last time. Pop, pop, pop. Great job. Let's inhale it up. Exhale. One more. Give me one more. Deep, deep breath. Great job. You really added some rhythm to those. down let's start with our feet wide apart wider than hips going into ballet squats take it down squeeze up really push those feet into the floor think tall and elongated like a ballerina belly into spine always supporting one more now hold it down give me a right shoulder front nice easy spine twist and stretch and switch to the left oh it feels so good this is one of my favorites again Keeping the torso nice and taut, always supporting the spine. One more. Excellent. Let's bring it up with an overhead reach to the right. Ground that left foot down. Shoulder out of the ear. Think more reaching more to the side than out down. Good. And other side switch. Again, elongate. Feel the nice side body stretch. Very nice. 
Take the arms behind you, open the chest, stretch it out. You can even interlace the fingers. And reverse, scoop the belly, get a nice stretch in that spine, relax this chin to the chest, open it up again. Inhale deep and exhale out. Beautiful, let's turn it to the right with a lunge. Nice hip flexor stretch, draw that tailbone long down to the floor. This knee can be soft, you don't have to jam it, let's bring it up. Nice hamstring stretch, if you're very flexible, you can reach down for that toe, get a little more into the calf, and switch sides this way. Again, tailbone nice and long, try not to arch here. Draw it down to the floor, shoulders out of the ears, bring it up, give me a nice hamstring stretch. Chest open, again, you can reach for those toes. Beautiful job. And bring it front, shake it out. Woo. Great job, guys. Give me an inhale up. Exhale. One more inhale, deepest breath you'll take all day. Exhale. Great job working out to the rhythm rocker. Keep working out with us, and you'll have that long, lean, and sexy dancer's body in no time. Hey everyone, I'm dance and fitness expert Jennifer Gallardi. Congratulations on investing in your health with the Rhythm Rocker. I can't wait to show you how fun exercise can be. With the Rhythm Rocker, you get the best of both worlds. Cardio and muscle conditioning, plus you'll learn to move like a true dancer. But remember to consult with a physician before you start this exercise program. And if you feel faint or dizzy at any time, please stop exercising. The Rhythm Rocker is amazing because it is designed for all fitness levels from the beginner to the most experienced dancer. As a beginner, you learn the three simple core moves, rocking, crunching, and rolling. So let's try them together. Come around to the front of your chair. And from the beginning, plant your feet firmly in the floor Pull the belly into the spine, strong core, and with the legs, go ahead and lower yourself down onto the rhythm rocker. Now, you want to make sure you're on your sit bones and that you're not kind of hanging back here so your butt's not sagging down over the back, right? Right up, nice and tall, and you're not dropping in your hips. So really pull up and in, keeping the rib cage engaged and closed. Hands lay softly on the handles, and your feet are about hip distance apart. A good uh, measure is, are the legs of the rhythm rocker. They don't need to go out much further than that. And if you'd like, you can po point the toes out slightly. Great, now engage that core because we're gonna start our first move, the rocking. So as you squeeze the obliques, lift this hip up out of the side, stretching this side. And let's switch it over. So you see that nice curve that we wanna get right there. And be careful you don't drop down, that you're really lifting up to get the most out of this stretch. Also, don't use the hands to pull over. Make sure the movement initiates from the core movement. Yeah, so you're controlling the seat, it's not controlling you. So we're just crunching a couple more. Four, squeeze those obliques. Three, gonna give you that nice curve. Two, and one. Excellent. Moving on to our crunching. This is that hot hip hop move you see all over the most popular dance shows today. So imagine you have a string attached right here and somebody were pulling it through your back to send your back back, slight pelvic tilt under, belly engaged to the spine, and come back to neutral. Now when you come back, watch that you don't splay the chest and the shoulders open and the rib cage out. You wanna keep the chest open, but this is in, okay? So this is your neutral, and you crunch back. And let the spine round. That's gonna help with flexibility in the spine. These are connected. The more you can pull in the belly, the bigger stretch you're gonna get through the back. Nice, crunch. One tip here, try not to pull from the shoulders and the chest, this is really all about your abs and your core. Gonna get you that strong, sexy six pack. Say that three times fast, yeah? Crunch and neutral and crunch. That's it, how about two more? Crunching, last one. You did a great job, you're ready to move on to the rolling, which is really kind of a combination between those first two moves. So we're gonna pull it over and rock it, take it back, 
to crunch it. And now you pull it over to the other side and come back to neutral. We're moving in a full 360 degree circle here. So you're targeting your side, your front and that back flexibility. Good and up. Again, try not to pull with the handles. You know, rock, rock yourself right out of it. You want to keep this tight, engaged, and in control. Excellent. One more, and we'll try the other side. It's important to remember, too, that you might have a little bit imbalances. It might be more challenging to one side, so give yourself time to really get the motion each side. Pull over, crunch back, rock it, and neutral. Couple more. Really lift that hip up out of the socket. Feel the pinch right there. Nice, without dumping into the hips. Stay lifted out. How about one more with me? Let's just roll it around. Oh, it feels so good. Great job. If you feel these three moves, rocking, crunching, and rolling, were easy enough for you to do, come join me in the actual workouts. If not, keep practicing the three basic movements until you do feel comfortable. But if you're ready to have some fun, let's move on together. Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer. Thanks for purchasing the Rhythm Rocker. I'm so excited to show you how the Rhythm Rocker targets your abs and teaches you fun dance moves without any complicated steps. Let's begin with our warm up. Nice and easy, give me a march right and left right here. Kind of swing the hips side to side, pick at the arms, but let them relaxed and loose. Just getting the body nice and warm for four. Push that hip out a little further, that's it. Now let's add some arm circles. They're gonna go back. You have back, one more. Now bring them front. Big arm circles moving from the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back again. And front for two. Moving on to squats with the tricep extension. Separate the feet, squat down, push up. Good. Keep that weight in the heels, send the booty back like you have that chair behind you. Squeeze. Good, nice and deep here. Now we're gonna pick it up double time. Make them a little smaller for me. Here you go, down and up. That's it, keep extending those triceps down to the floor. Think long, lean muscles for four. Whew. Exhale. Two. Now rock those hips side to side, right and left. Good, hands out. Kind of double bump the hips, squeeze the obliques. Get them nice and warm, hands over the head and wave. Hey. That's it, how you ladies doing? Two more. Moving on to our crunch, belly to spine. Crunch and up, hands can just relax on the hips. Pull, feel the rounding in the spine. Let's add arms, open the chest and crunch it forward. Very nice, exhale. Shh. Moving to hip rolls to the right, slow. Good, send that booty back. One more. Keep the belly engaged to the spine to support the back, two to the left. Nice, you make it a little sexy, what's up? And take it back to a march, inhale. Exhale, Shh. two more just like that. Deep breaths, getting ready to exercise. One more. Great job, moving on to our workouts. You know all the moves, so let's get ready to dance. And take a big inhale. Exhale, go ahead and sit down on that chair. Hold on, we're gonna rock it side to side, starting with this right hip, pick it up. Five, six, seven, eight, and rock. Good, so now we got one for each beat. Really rocking it out, side to side. Good, for four, three, two. You're gonna take that right arm up and reach it down. You have up, down, really punching it out. Good, get that upper body going. It's gonna get that heart rate up there. Burn those calories. You can see that six pack. For four, three. Now bring that arm in front. Keep rocking. Rock, rock. Get used to this one arm balance. Pull in that low belly to keep you right in the center. For four, three. All right, we're gonna take the chest fly. The arm goes out and across. Out, across, out. Woo. You keep a soft elbow. So don't lock that arm. Keep rocking it, side to side for four, three, whew, two. All right, take that hand down. Let's rock it side to side. 
good. Keep going. Getting that dancey feel. Add a little sass. We're going to put those two moves together. Reach it down. And chest fly. Here you go. Reach. Punch it out. Four more. Four. That's it. Now give me that chest fly right here. Out and across. Get that heart rate up. We're rocking it. Reach it up and down right away. Up. Woo! Add a little more shoulder. Give me that chest fly right here. Out and across. Beautiful. Four. Three. Two. Hold that hip rock. Hold. Good. Keep squeezing. Just get that side to side. Keep that lower belly engaged. Good. We're going to take an arm circle with this right arm. It's going to go out and around. You have out, around. Engage that back. Use the shoulder and the lat. For four. Keep going. Three, two. All right, bring that right hand down on the handle. Keep rocking it out. Uh. How you guys doing? Good. How are you doing at home? Get a little breather here. Because we're putting that all together. Reach it up and down, and then give me that chest line. Four, three, there you go. Up, Woo. punch it out. Four, three, two, give me that chest line. Four more, come on, four, squeeze it. Arm circle here, you have over, over. Four more, four, three, hold the rock right here. Excellent. You guys ready to try that all again? Let me see you rock it, dance it out, punch it. Up, up, get out a little head. We want to see your personality here. Chest fly it, out. Here we go. Right into our arm circles. Two and one. Rest. Squeeze. Remember that lap pull down. Use it. Four. Three. Rock it out right here. Three. Going into our spine roll with our little triple crunch right here. Roll, triple, up, 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 and a little hip hop to our rolls. And crunch, 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 squeeze. One more. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Left hip up, right here, rock it, rock. Excellent. Whew. Building the same combo on the left side. So just get start, started with this left hip up. Are we ready to add that arm? I think we are. Take it up and down, punch. Come on, really punch it out. Strong, sexy arms. Full body workout. Now hold this arm out in front and keep rocking for me. So find that balance. Pull in that low belly. Lift up out of those hips. If you're dropping, stop and readjust yourself. Make sure you're lifted up out of your seat. Because here we go with those chest flies. Open it out. 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 Great. Come on. Out. Excellent. Good. Four. Three, let's take it back to our hip rocks right here. Woo! You guys feeling this? I am sweating. <laughs> you may be sitting down, but it's definitely a workout. We're going to put it together, reach it down, chest fly. Here you go. Uh, punch it. Woo! Four more. Four, three, two, chest fly. Good. For four. Do that combo again for me. Take it up and down. Woo! Four more. You notice I'm talking less because I'm breathing harder. Yeah? You agree, ladies? Oh, yeah. Rock it side to side. Bring it down. Good. Stay lifted up out of those hips. Non-stop party right here. Good. Now bring that arm back up. Going into our arm circles, here you go. Take it out, 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 woo! Taking it to a whole new level with these arm circles. Rock it, two, take that arm down to the handle, 
back to our basic rock. Get you ready to put it all together. Keep stretching those sides, using those obliques. So much more fun than sit-ups. Here we go. Reach it down and up. Up, up. Four more. Four. Three. Pull it. Chest fly. Out. Here we go with those arm circles. Take it around. Round. Good. Sweep. Four more for me. Four. Three. Rock it out. Good. Squeeze it. Come on. We're going to do that combo again. Let me see you really punch it at that shoulder. Go. Ho. Yeah. You can even say a little, make little noises. Ho. 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 Good. Give me that chest fly. Out. Across. Crunch, crunch, up. Pull that low belly in, scoop the hips under, four. Three, ladies ready to take this to tempo? Here we go. Take it up. Boom. Good. Pull that pelvis under from the core. Couple more, four. Feel that beat, three. Alternating knee raises, we're gonna go right and Remember before what I said about letting the core do the work here and not the quad. Are we ready to add crossing shoulders? Let me see those sexy shoulders right here. Left and right. Woo! Oh, I love this. I get a nice stretch down my back. Right there. You feel it, ladies? Excellent. Three, two, take it back to our crunch. Here you go. Crunch it out. Remember those exhales to your friends. They help all that air push out. Nice. Let me hear it, ladies. Go. Excellent. Let's go right into four. Bend and straight. Leg raise. You have bend and kick. Two. How about on the other side? You've got four. Other side, the arm really helps you pull in. Again, two on the right. And two on the left. Keep going with this. Keep the arms going, really pulling it. Squeeze it in. Elbow to knee, pull, come on. Love this, really getting that heart rate up there. Keep going with the arms. That's it. Excellent, crunch it in right here. Pop, pop. That's going to give you that six pack. Remember to pull the lower belly in as well as the upper abs. Excellent. Four. Let's put them together. Alternating knees with the shoulder and crunch. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Let's take it to those leg raises. You have pull. Up again. Other side. Go right back to the alternating knees with the shoulder right here. Woo! shoulder ladies pull it forward and raises on the right one more excellent left all right taking it back to our crunch half time crunch release excellent Shh, really exhale all right do you feel this working right here you're really gonna need it and this next move bring the legs together give me a double knee up you have 
feels really good after that. Two more here. Great job. Let's start rolling it on the right. Roll half time, right hip up. Here you go. Squeeze and back and squeeze. Neutral. Beautiful. Really, when you have this half time, work it to your advantage. Really squeeze to stretch. One more. Good. Let's keep going with this. Like I said, take advantage of it because it's going to pick up pretty quickly. Breathe. Really stretch that opposing hip. All right, we're going to take these to tempo, smooth out the isolations a little bit. Here you go. You have one, two, three, four. Very nice. Keep that chest open. Make sure those shoulders don't drop. Right here. One and up. 
let's start with our feet wide apart, wider than hips, going into ballet squats. Take it down, squeeze up. Really push those feet into the floor. Think tall and elongated like a ballerina. Belly into spine, always supporting. One more. Now hold it down, give me a right shoulder front. Nice, easy spine twist and stretch and switch to the left. Oh, it feels so good. This is one of my favorites. Again, keeping the torso nice and taut, always supporting the spine. One more. Excellent, let's bring it up with an overhead reach to the right. Round that left foot down, shoulder out of the ear. Think more, reaching more to the side than out down. Good, and other side switch. Again, elongate so you feel the nice side body stretch. Very nice. Take the arms behind you, open the chest, stretch it out. You can even interlace the fingers. And reverse, scoop the belly, get a nice stretch in that spine, relax this chin to the chest, open it up again. Inhale deep and exhale out. Beautiful, let's turn it to the right with a lunge. Nice hip flexor stretch, draw that tailbone long down to the floor. This knee can be soft, you don't have to jam it. Let's bring it up. Nice hamstring stretch. If you're very flexible, you can reach down for that toe, get a little more into the calf, and switch sides this way. Again, tailbone nice and long. Try not to arch here. Draw it down to the floor, shoulders out of the ears. Bring it up, give me a nice hamstring stretch. Chest open, again, you can reach for those toes. Beautiful job. And bring it front, shake it out. Woo. Great job, guys. Give me an inhale up. Exhale. One more inhale, deepest breath you'll take all day. Exhale. Great job working out to the rhythm rocker. Keep working out with us, and you'll have that long, lean, and sexy dancer's body in no time. Now that you know your three basic movements, the rockin', crunchin', and rollin', you're ready to take it off the rhythm rocker and onto the dance floor. Let's start with a basic march right here, right and left. Take it over. Boom. Sticking that hip out just a little bit. Already engaging the obliques. It's like a little merengue march, so get those elbows up. All right, take it wide, and we're gonna rock it side to side. Tempo, here you go. Up. So it's almost like you're trying to hit your hands with your hip. Good. Rock. Keep it moving. Remember, keep those obliques engaged. Arms are going to go up and cross down. Up. Up. Good. Come on. Really punch them down. If you really want to sink low in those legs, you can. Woo! Four. Three. March it out right here. Good. Remember that little merengue march? How are you guys doing back there? Ready to move on? Oh yeah. We're gonna rock it out to the side. Keep those arms front. You have rock, rock. Now if you wanna get the thighs a little more toned, you can sit down a little bit lower. I'm gonna keep it right about mid-range. Take those arms out. We're gonna do those chest crosses here. You have out, cross. Woo! You can alternate one arms that cross. It really doesn't matter. Just have fun with it. Let it fly. Woo! For four, three, take it back to the march right here. Good. Catch your breath. Inhale and exhale when you need to. All right, we're going to take it out again. Out and down. Right here. Go. Out. Out. Four more. Four, three, two, chest fly. You have open. Open. Again, that whole set. Up and down right here. Let's go, ladies. Pump it out. Feel those arms work. Four, three, two, chest fly. Open, close. Woo! Swing it out. March it out right here. Excellent. Cut your breath before we move on. Inhale and exhale. Going back to our rocking motion. Four, three, legs wide. You have rock, rock. Remember, keep squeezing the obliques just like you did on the rhythm rocker. Keep that lower belly engaged. Three ladies ready to take it to our arm circles. Here you go. Keep the elbows bent. Around. It's fast. Woo! Good. 
Squeeze the shoulder blades on the way back. Rock those hips. Squeeze the obliques. Get down in those lats. March it out here. Feel like I'm gonna fly away. That's really gonna get that heart rate up there. Burn those calories. I'm gonna see that nice, sexy torso. All right, take it wide again. Put it all together. Reach it down. Up, up, down. Whew. Four, three. Here we go with our chest fly. Open, open, open. Good. Four, three. Arm circles. Round, arm, up. Explode. Four, three. Hold a rock here. Hold, hold. A little sass, maybe a little shoulder. Arms are gonna come up and down again, right here. Take it up. Maybe a little bit of disco here. Keep the punch, though. Chest fly, open and out. Good. Breathe. Four, three, two, arm circles. Take it out, explode. Woo, let me see those triceps and those biceps. Rock it out. Excellent. All right, going on to our hip hop move. It's that crunch, so let's get ready slow. Crunch and up. Shh. Again, same motion. You're just off the chair. You can't use the handlebars, but the hands can come to the hips nice and easy. Remember to exhale. Bring the ribs together. Let's take it to tempo. You go back. Pop it. Now, let me see that hip hop. Maybe a little hips more forward. Now that you don't have the chair, you can pop it back a little bit more. Woo! Breathe nice. I hear you exhaling. That sounds great. Do the same at home. Come on. Shh. Shh. Really crunch it in. I can do so many more of these when I'm not using my neck. It's all core all the time. Excellent. Now you're going to step on your right and peel your left foot up like this. You have to step up. Step. Good. So it's a little bob here. Push. Remember, using the lower belly to bring the knee up, not so much the quad. That's it. Now we're going to drive that knee up even further. Remember, you add the opposite shoulder. You go over. Over. That's it. Woo. Yeah. Come on. Pop it. Pop it. Good. Four. And three. Pop. Now let me see more of a pop. Pop. Control it. Pop. Down. Go. Pop. Pop. Real sharp. Poop. You've got control and mastery of your core. Let's see you use it on the dance floor. For four. That's it. Three. Two. Bring it back to that crunch tempo. Hup. Good. Crunch it. Come on. We're going to create that sexy six pack with the whole middle. Four more. Four. Beautiful. Three. All right. We're going to pick the right knee up with this. And you're going to pop the chest. You have up. Up. Good. Pop it back. Now left. Good. Exhale there. Requiring balance on one leg, which means you really have to pull up out of your center. Don't slouch down. Let's cut this to twos right here. You have two. Pop it. Good. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Let me see you go back. Excellent. There. There. A little more hip hop now. All right. Got to add some arms to this. Give it more of that dance feel. Pump them out. You have pump. Pump. Good. Pump. Come on. Push the arms forward so the core can go back. You can lean a little to the side, a little bit of attitude, boom. Boom, that's it. Boom, boom. Let's take it back to our tempo crunch. Hands again, relax on the hips while you're re kind of focusing right here. Four more, four, three. All right, we're gonna step with the right. Pop that left and give me the shoulder. You step, boom, two. Four more here. Pop it for it. Pop it for it. Double pump right. You have pump. 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 Beautiful ladies. Come on. Show them how it's done. Back to the shoulder. Pull. Two. Three. Get it forward. Get that knee up from the core. Double on the right. You have come on. Pump it out. Pump it out. So you hip hop it. Woo. Take it back to our tempo crunch. Great job. Come on. Crunch it back. Feel that spine stretch the more you crunch in. That's what I love about these standing ab works. Good. All right, do you remember our squat for more warm up? Hands on the hips, let's take it down. Down and up. Again, knees 
Don't go over the toes. Send that booty back. Squeeze it up. Come on. Lots of effort. Down. Lift the hips right from here. Belly up. Good. Now we're going to add a hip thrust. You're going to point the right and up. Back. Good. Really sit back like your rhythm rocker was behind you. You're going to sit on it. Good. Now really thrust that hip forward by pulling the belly deep to the spine. Two more. Let's add arms, of course. Tricep extension. Push. As we're going slow, you can really push and lean away and stretch. Yeah, I love it slow. But of course, we gotta groove it out. Pick it up to tempo. Smaller range of motion. Here you go. Down. Pump. Now I like to make a fist here. Really rock it out. Twist that hip even. Get into the obliques. Good. Thrusting from the low belly. For four. Three. Crunch it out. Enough. 
Don't let this be too loose. Right in here, tight and controlled. Good. Keep the chest forward, take a tempo. Roll. Roll. Again, if you want to give those legs a workout, get down there in your plie. Yeah. Make it really sexy. Add some more rib cage. Good. I'm going to start bringing it up. Because we're going to turn and point that left foot. Here you go. You have point. Point. Good. Kind of on the ball of the foot. Push it forward. Add a little shoulder. Make it sassy and sexy. That arm's going to come up. Let me see you ladies work it. Four, three, here you go. Come up. Squeeze. This is really where you can get into the obliques. You can add a little rock and pick that leg up again. Woo! Get that cardio up there. Bring that arm up. Take it back to your crunch tempo. Nice job. Breathe here. Bend those knees as you go. Excellent. For four. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to take it back to those circles on the right. You ladies ready? Take it around. Step it out. You have step. Two. Three. Crunch it in. Four. Three. Two. On the left. You have circle. Circle. Oh. Again soon. 